watching the Kelloggan Sports Zone. Woo! The Smith held its own against top-ranked Canastota Freeman last week, but ultimately lost to the Pride 14 to 12. Tonight, the fifth-ranked Bulldogs attempted to get back into the win column at Del Rapids St. Mary. The Smith leading 6-0 in the opening quarter and looking to add to it. On fourth down, Colt Wilkinson looking for Kalen Gary. He'll go up and bring down the 22-yard TD. Two-point try is good, and Bulldogs up, Bulldogs up 14-0. Final minute of the first quarter, Gary takes the handoff. He'll bounce it to the outside and race in 24 yards for the se his second TD of the night. DeSmit up 22-0 after one. On the heels of an interception, DeSmit converts the turnover into points. Wilkinson going Gary's way again on fourth down, and they connect for another touchdown. That one from five yards out. DeSmit up 30 to nothing, and they just kept their foot on the gas in the opening half as they'll give it to Rhett Ostis, who takes the toss sweep, gets some great blocking outside, and he struts in for the TD, and DeSmit rolls past Del Rapids St. Mary 54-0. Across the border, West Sioux played Central Lion. Central Lion strikes in the very first possession of the game. Zach Lutmer rolls out like he's going to throw it, tucks it away and runs, and that was a good decision. Jets around the defense and down the sideline, 40 yards on the touchdown run. Lions lead 7-0. Later, Central Lion looks to add to the advantage. Lutmer fakes the handoff and calls his own number again, and after breaking a few arm tackles, finds the end zone. Second time on the game, 31 yards on the score, putting Central Line up 14 zip. West Sioux looks to answer back. Levi Koopmans gets the carry, but uh, loses the ball. Lions pounce on it and take over on offense. On the ensuing Central Line possession, it again is Lutmer. Uh, he calls his own number again, evades the defense, and also, the camera <laughs> takes it all the way. His third touchdown of the night. Central Lion picks up a 40 to nothing victory over West Sioux. A pair of 1-0 teams met in Rock Valley as Boyden Hall Rock Valley hosted West Lion. Early in the first quarter, Zach Van Beek rolls left and finds Jason Meyer going down the sideline, stretches for the score, but comes up uh, just short. Down at the two-yard line, knee went down. On the next play, Zach Van Beek dives in for the home team, making it 6-0 Wildcats, or for the road team. Uh, four minutes to go in the first quarter. Caleb Katz receives a punt on the 10 and then finds his stride. Katz takes this one all the way to the 25-yard line, and this one was all West Lion as they pitch a 28-0 shutout over Boyden Hull, Rock Valley. It's time now for the Touchstone Energy Player of the Week. This week's Player of the Week recipient goes to Harrisburg quarterback Jacob Knuth. The junior connected on 26 of his 37 passes for 284 yards and five touchdowns, helping lead the Tigers to a Week 2 win over Washington. The Player of the Week is brought to you by your local Touchstone Energy Cooperative. We'll have your sports calendar and hits and helmets next.